Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a Windows 11 24H2 bootable USB using Rufus and how to use it. This USB stick can help you bypass some of those, let's call them creative requirements for gigabytes of RAM, DPM 2.0, secure boot and even that online Microsoft account setup. Download the latest Windows 11 image. Just Google Windows 11 download and look for the official Microsoft link, which I've also put in the description for quick access. Once you're on the page, scroll to download Windows 11 disk image and choose the Windows version. Make sure your USB stick is at least 8 GB. Because this file is over 5 GB, it might take a bit longer to download. Choose your language, click confirm, and then hit that magic button 64 bit download. While that's downloading, Grab Rufus from Rufus.ie. Again, the link is in the description. Make sure to download the right version for your operating system. 64 bit is most common. Go to 32 bit, use the second option from the bottom. Once your downloads are done, open Rufus from your downloads folder. Now, I usually turn off the check for updates option, but feel free to leave it on if you like. Select your USB drive from the drop down menu and click select. To pick the Windows 11 disk image, you just download it. I like renaming the USB to something like Windows 11. Now here's where Rufus shines. Click start and you will get options to bypass the Windows requirements for RAM, secure boot, TPM 2.0 and that Microsoft account. You can also have Rufus set up a local admin account for you, match regional settings, disable data collection and turn off BitLocker, auto encryptions. Pick your options, click OK and remember this will wipe the USB, so make sure you don't need any files on it. Once Rufus is done, the green bar says ready, unplug your USB and we're good to go. Booting with the USB. Now, let's boot from it. If you're on a laptop, plug in your AC adapter just in case. Then plug in your USB. As soon as you power on, spam that boot menu key. It could be F2, F12, or ask, depending on your device. Choose the USB from the list and hit enter. Now we're booting up with the USB. Pick your language, set up your keyboard and agree to wipe the computer.
Next, choose your partition. I recommend deleting all partitions starting with disk 0 to make things clean. Just don't touch disk 1, that's your USB. Once you've got a single unlocated space partition, select it and click next. Windows will start installing. When asked to connect to the internet, go ahead and skip it with I don't have internet. You can connect later to install any updates or drivers. And that's it. Your fresh Windows 11 24H2 is ready. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful to you, please leave a like or a comment. If you hit the subscribe button, I would be very happy and grateful. Bye.